got out of World War II and I was going to join the French Foreign Legion. But when I inquired on it, you lose your citizenship. So hell, I didn't want to do that. So I joined the LA Police Department. I'd only been a radio car cop about six months and they put me on vice. Mainly because I looked young at one time in my life. I'm on Vice, and we got tipped off that there was an organized crime poker game that went two nights a month. We even got the address, so we staked it out, and there was a chain link fence around it, and they had two Doberman dogs that were absolutely wild. Boy, I'll tell you, they were really ready to grab you. There's no way we could get in and knock that game over. When I was a kid, I used to ride my horse down to the river bottom back in Wichita, and there was an old Indian that lived down there. He told me a lot of stuff about nature, but he told me one thing. There's a little chunk on the inside of a horse's leg, it's called a chestnut. Yep. You can peel them off. And this Indian told me, he said, peel one of those off and carry it in your pocket for a week and pet any strange dog. Well, here I'm on vice. We didn't know how to knock this game over, and I thought of that. And I had a horse, so I peeled that thing off and carried it for a week, and here came Friday night, and the game was on. I and my partner walked up to the fence, and boy, here come these two dogs. And I gave my partner one, and we both gave each dog a piece of that. Tails went to wagon, and boy, they went crazy over that. And you having horses, you know what the dogs do with when they peel, when they chew your horse. Chew them up and eat them. We got, we climbed a tree, dropped over on the inside of the fence and those dogs were still eating and chewing at things. My partner took the back door and I took the front door. We knocked the game over. And the guy that was running the game, he offered offered us five hundred dollars to kick it loose. Mike, we were making two ten a month. <laughs> Boy, you talk about being tempted. <laughs> When I was a kid growing up, my mother used to tell me, if there's times in life you're going to have to make a decision, remember there's a little angel sitting on your shoulder. You know, I think I looked at both my shoulders that night. <laughs> anyway, he was a nice guy. He didn't, it wouldn't matter anything. And I told him, I said, we won't take the money, but I'm going to tell you how we got by the dogs. He said, well, I'd sure appreciate it. When I told him, he couldn't believe it. But it works. <laughs>